Good morning all you Cook Shack fans out there. My name is Whitaker Baker. I'm a chef at the Pocket City Country Club and we're here to do a little demo on some grilled fish and a grilled vegetarian plate today. Today we're going to work with a halibut skewer with tomatoes and zucchini and we're going to make up a little marinade for this. And marinades are a wonderful thing to impart flavor with. You can go so many different directions. Today we're going to go with sun-dried tomato, a little bit of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, that's a quarter cup of each and a quarter cup of lemon juice. This is going to help us impart a lot of quick flavor. These are fresh herbs, about a tablespoon and a tablespoon of brisket rub, just to add some salt. I don't like putting salt in a marinade unless it's going on fresh and it's going straight to the grill today, so we're going to blend this up real quick. Not a very long blend, but this is going to go over our fish and it's going to be a marinade straight on the fish as we're grilling it. So we'll brush this on as we go. Another part of our mise en place here, we've done some grilled veggies, vegetables today. It's uh, peppers, onions, zucchini, squash. The wonderful thing, wonderful thing about vegetables is you can impart any flavor. These are pretty much neutral in flavor, so you can impart oriental. You can do Italian. This one here today, I've done soy sauce, ginger, garlic, teriyaki sauce, uh, sesame oil, and uh, you can also go with Worcestershire smoke. You can go with citrus and Italian uh, oil. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with these vegetables here. Okay, today we're going to do some grilled veggies and some grilled halibut skewers. Um, we're cooking on a medium high heat here. Uh, it's on medium, probably about 300 degrees. We're going to start out with this, uh, oh, I think we'll do the chicken rub. We're going to sprinkle these veggies with a little salt. There's no salt in my marinade, so other than the soy sauce, we're going to season them up a little bit. We're going to get these on the grill first. Vegetables tend to take four to five minutes on each side. We did blanch these carrots a little bit before we marinated them, so they're pre-done. Most all of your peppers and stuff, we're going to go five minutes on each side. Uh, zucchini squash goes a little bit less time. One thing I love about this grill is it's so versatile. You're able to throw some lemons on for your fish. Get a nice grill mark on them. It imparts a lot of flavor into those lemons. I've done these skewers with thin strips of zucchini. You can use squash, zucchini, eggplant fish, we do a lot of salmon, shrimp tacos here. One thing you got to do is with fish, I believe, is you want to impart a lot of flavor in there, so I do a different marinade all the time. And what we've done for our grilled portobello plate is we grilled the portobello previously. We've marinated that with some balsamic, some olive oil, and some garlic and herbs. We grilled the portobello first, and what we've done is once we pulled off and grilled it and cooled it, we stuffed it with some ricotta cheese, feta cheese, parmesan, sauteed spinach and onions, and sun-dried tomatoes. Then we topped that with the parmesan and pine nut breadcrumb topping, and we're going to bake this for about five minutes now. You want to put a little oil on top to get that nice caramelization going. And that's another thing with the veggies, you always, always I've got oil in the marinade, but halfway through this process you're going to want to oil, flip, to get the nice dark colors you want. Now, as we're rotating this fish now, we're going to do about three minutes on each side. You want the fish to kind of be able to let go there. Another good thing to do when you're cooking fish is go ahead and put a lid on it. It helps to trap the heat in there. We're getting a little bit of mark now on these veggies. There's what you're after right there. But it really does have an excellent even cooking surface here. You've got the same heat here that you have in the back. You have an excellent, I mean, I filled this up with burgers, steaks, and everything you can imagine, and it just really cooks from front to back just as even as it can be. Really has good and partial wood flavor. The fish should typically take six to eight minutes, but when you're going to rotate it on there, two minutes on each side, it should be pretty close to done because we've got about one ounce portion on that halibut. It's always good to use fresh when you can. We'll go ahead and do another flip here. We'll just be serving this halibut today with a bed of rice pilaf. And the vegetarian plate is actually going to be a salad done with baby spinach, pine nuts, 
um, feta cheese, grape tomatoes, and balsamic dressing. That'll be kind of the bed for our mushroom, and then we're gonna have the grilled veggies as a side on that. And these are wonderful vegetables just to do, chop up and have a grilled vegetable medley, or you'll see the presentation we do here, but it's also good just to grill them, chop them, and serve them. Okay, folks, now we've had this halibut on the grill for about six minutes. Uh, what you want to look for is just a definite toughness in the meat. It's not going to be tender. When you push on it, you're going to have some firmness in there, so then the way you know it's done. We're going to pull that off there. We're going to hold that right here for a minute. Now we're going to start checking our veggies. All you really want on the vegetables is a nice little dark mark like that. Perfect right there. The carrots and the peppers take a little bit longer than everything else, but those look good. That looks good. Really nice to get a good mark on these carrots. Give you that good color contrast. And we've got grilled lemons here for our fish plate. And we're gonna let these go for just a minute longer. What we're gonna do over here today is we're gonna take these vegetables and trim them down to points, basically. So as you have different colored points on your plate, you got to get a squash. And then we've already got our pre-made salad here with balsamic dressing, pine nuts, and feta cheese. Then we're just going to come in here and kind of layer these different grilled vegetables, one color at a time, kind of try to make a rainbow out of it. Start with green, go to yellow. And a yellow bell pepper. And another carrot right there. What I really enjoy about this char boiler is it's wood pellet fed, so it actually has a really good wood flavor coming up off the grill. It has very even cooking temperatures. You're going to be the same in the front as you are the back. It's very easy to clean. It's very easy to upkeep. It takes about once a week. You do about two hours of work on this, and it's clean and ready to go for the next week. It has double sides. It has really good temperature control as far as you can be low when you're not busy. You can be high when you are busy. Frankly, I've never had to turn this grill on high because the medium heat is perfect. It does excellent steaks, has excellent flavor. I really like the Cook Shack line of rubs and sauces they've got to accompany everything. Uh, it's just a great product and I really enjoy cooking with it. I've been here for three years and haven't had a better grill in my life.